Basil. Hey, don't look so excited. It's a new day. It's just a new day, man. Calm down. Calm down, man. <laughs> are you that lazy you can't even hold your head up? Come on, man. So we are here in St. Cloud, Minnesota. That's what it looks like. A bunch of saints around here and some clouds. So they called it St. Cloud. Makes sense to me. Makes perfect sense. So we're about to get our day going. We're going to drive our full 11 hours today. A full day. Guarantee you. At least as full as we can. Close to the 11 hours. We can't go over, so it might be a little under. You know what I mean. So I'm only allowed to drive a certain amount of hours a day. If you're wondering what I'm talking about. Uh, they put a cap on me. They say, Director Josh, you cannot work any more overtime. You have to stop. I'm not allowed to work overtime. Anyways, so we are going to get back onto the I-94 eastbound. We are just west of Minneapolis, so we'll be clipping through Minneapolis right away. And we're gonna go down through Wisconsin. Maybe grab some cheese. I don't know, they got the cheese are out there, right? That's dairy farmers for diesel. Diesel, hey, we're going through Wisconsin. Lots of cows, man, your favorite. Look at them. Really? Cows? I don't believe you, man. He's really excited this morning, don't mind him. So, what are you doing parking over there? That's not a parking spot. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It doesn't matter. I'm blocking the pumps in, but... I'm hoping we should be able to get past Chicago. We're going to go all the way through Wisconsin. Past South Boy. I don't know how far away Gary, Indiana is yet, but we're going to try to get down to Gary, Indiana there. See what, uh, see what life brings us today. Time to go with old guys. Okay, you guys ready to go or what? You guys ready? Put your seatbelts on. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. Roll it. Lights are on so people don't run into me. That doesn't seem to stop people from running into people, but whatever, it helps. Look both ways, look both ways again. All right. They used to let us park on the road back here. Now they don't let us park here. All kinds of no parking signs everywhere. Hey, what you got against truckers? Nobody likes truckers. I like truckers. I'm sort of biased though. <laughs> I bet you everybody. Bet you everybody would like truckers a lot more if we just stopped driving. Tell you what. Oh, you don't got gas for your car? Oh, too bad. You should have liked truckers. What's that? Your fridge is empty? Oh, too bad. We should have liked truckers. All right, so we're gonna get on to uh, the I-94 here again. Turn left on Alger 75, then take ramp ahead. That's what I'm gonna do, man. You just told the good people. Just told them. Here we go. You ready? Everybody's strapped in. Your racing harness on, we're about to give her. Three kilometers on I 94 East.
Wisconsin, the United States, North America. Ooh, nice little, I've actually never gone into Madison. I've never delivered in there, never had any reason to go in there yet. It seems like it's a pretty big city. I mean, they got like a six lane freeway going through here, right? So there must be a lot of people around here. This is a major artery though, like all of the trucks pretty much from Western Canada going anywhere into the Midwest or uh, we should say anywhere into the east, east of the Mississippi, all the Canadian trucks come down through here pretty much. So there's a lot of traffic, international traffic on this highway. This is Interstate 94. So you'll notice if you ever come up here, you'll see a lot of us connect drivers up here. anywhere really like anywhere if I'm going to Iowa depends which side of Iowa if I'm going to the west side of Iowa I'll go down I-29 but if I'm going out to uh, eastern Iowa I'll come down here or actually I'll go down through Minneapolis okay never mind sorry no I don't come down here but anywhere like Illinois east I come down through here and most of the freight goes to the East Coast, right? Because that's where the most people are. They like buying our stuff. And I like bringing it to them. And then we buy their stuff. And then I bring it back. It's a friendly little trade thing we got going on here. We all benefit. Is it break time, Diesel? Is it break time? Already, man? The day's half over already. It's time to go outside, man. Oh, yeah. You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Stop asking me. You always ask me like five times, man. He's really happy. He's really happy. There he goes. There he goes. <laughs> he wiped out. Did you see that? That's funny. Hey, Diesel. Hey, hey, hey. Far enough, man. Far enough. Okay, he's coming back. <laughs> He always goes just almost out of sight to do his business, right? I can just see him over there. As soon as he's done, he'll come running back. Every time, every time. He likes to be as far away from me as possible. Which is good because if it stinks as bad as his farts did yesterday, I don't want to be anywhere near that thing. There he comes, there he comes, there he comes. Dun, da, 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 da. Dun, da, da. Oh, oh, detour, detour, taking the long way. Taking the long, good boy. Hey, you missed me. You missed me. Here I am, right here, man. Yes, very good. You're very excited. Do not eat that. There he comes. Ah. I'll let him run around there for a bit. Hey, I don't know what's up with him. He can't just smell another dog's... Never mind, I won't tell you. I won't tell you. It's disgusting. Just, just trust me, it's disgusting. Diesel, what are you doing over there? So we've gone 500 kilometers today, which is about 300 miles or so. Uh, so the day is pretty much exactly half done. It's been a good day so far, uneventful again. But these uneventful days are good days. If nothing happens, that's a good thing. <laughs> so when I say uneventful, I'm not saying it was boring. I'm just saying it was successful and it was good. Uneventful. That's the kind of day you want as a truck driver, uneventful. What are you doing, building a tree fort or something, man? Get out of there, come on. Oh, he's way over there. What are you doing? Oh, I'm having fun, man. <laughs> there he goes again. Come on, man. Look at him. He just can't get enough of it. <laughs> uh, get it all out, man. Get it all out. It's nice having Diesel at this stage where I know he's gonna come back. It's, I'm not too worried about it. Unless there's another dog here, that would be a problem. He wouldn't start a fight. He would just want to go and say hi, and he's really scary when he wants to say hi, especially if the dog is smaller or kind of scared and shy. Diesel scares them off because he wants to know what their name is, right? And you know how dogs figure out what their name is and it makes other dogs uncomfortable and it would make me uncomfortable too. So he just gets a little too excited. And if there's other people here, he'd want to go and say hello. And I just don't like bothering other people like that. So we're like the only people here. And why not? Let him stretch his legs. He needs to stretch his legs. It's not good to keep him cooped up all the time. At least once a day, you gotta get out and let him run. Bound through the grass. Diesel, frolic over this way, would you? Come on. Hey, I see you. I see you, man. 
You gonna come back here or what? What is he doing? <laughs> oh, there he is. Diesel, come here. Come on. Is it not until you put that camera away, man. Not until you put the camera away. Good boy. You are such a good boy. Such a good boy. Hey, stop sniffing. Oh, it's so nice that they finished this highway here now between, uh, where is it, between Rockford and wherever. The stretch between Wisconsin and Chicago. You know what I'm talking about? It's under construction for like two years. Yeah, they finally got it done. Not that it helps people to understand how to drive on it anymore, but at least it's done. So what I mean by that is we're about to get into Chicago, so I've already experienced a couple of Chicago drivers. Not everybody in Chicago is a bad driver, don't get me wrong. It's just they seem to congregate here in, uh, in groups. <laughs> what are you flashing your lights for? What's wrong with you? Saying hi to me? Hello, who are you? You just made it in the vlog, congratulations. running day wasn't it hard running day yeah we uh didn't stop much we stopped for that one break and that was it and it was just i've been like that all month i just want to get those miles and you know get those miles and just keep on trucking so we're here in lebanon we made it all the way to lebanon across the ocean no we're in lebanon indiana I don't know why they named it Lebanon, if it's named after the country Lebanon, or if Lebanon is named after this city in Indiana, I don't know. Can't be coincidence that they're both the same, right? 
Anyways, so, oh, I'm tired. So I'm gonna be going to bed pretty much straight away. Uh, thanks for joining me today, guys. Ooh, it was a long day for me, 1,000 kilometers under my belt. And we got another 1,000 to go tomorrow yet. So, hope you join me anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time. It'll be live. Uh, we'll have to do more filming tomorrow, I think, because I didn't get much filming done today. So we'll see what tomorrow leads to. It's a little bit snowy here in uh, Indiana. They have more snow here than uh, Minnesota did, which is interesting. Eh? The further south I go, the colder and snowier it gets, I guess. <laughs> it's actually not that cold, it's just snowing. Anyways, guys, it'll probably make it icy tomorrow, eh? I gotta get up real early and start my day off early. I will see you then, anytime after four. Don't forget, down below, links to past vlogs of mine. Some of them are longer than this one, some of them are shorter. Some of them I didn't have a beard in. You can go find out down below. I'll see you there.